So I intend to keep you posted because I think it's time for the citizens to hold not only the provincial government uh, responsible for how this legislation ended up being complete cop out, but as well how each individual municipality deals with the important right to know its citizens. When um, developed contributions are allowed in municipal candidate selection campaigns, and if you'd like information, there's been a lot of work done by uh, Professor McDermott, I believe he's from New York University, York University. that um, I believe he's published two papers dealing with uh, looking at um, the contributions and the significant amount of money that is donated by developers to um, municipal candidates during elections. Okay, but you, you stated that, that would somehow make councils across Ontario more accountable? I think the issue would be certainly more, more transparent. Okay, um, but you also mentioned... No, I'm, I'm sorry. This is not debate time. This is question period. Do you have another question? Yes. Uh, could you define accountable for me? I don't know what it means. See, I, I uh, was at Bill 130 Standing Committee uh, listening to the de deliberations on Bill 130 um, at Queen's Park, and uh, I think I, I need to know what how um, um, accountable is defined here. How, define, define, defined in the Act? No, how, how uh, Councillor Jordan or someone else define accountable for me? Well, accountable, of course, in the political context means that you're, you're answerable to the people who elected you for the decisions that you made. That's the ultimate de definition of accountability. Um, there's, and there's a you know, there's definitions, legal definitions of accountable in several acts, I'm sure. Thank you. That, that's my uh, definition as well. Thank, Thank you. Thank you.